Space, the final frontier. One tiny company called SpaceX wants to bring us to Mars to ensure our survival. Not yours and mine. We will probably continue to breathe Earth's air forever, but the survival of humanity. The new space race is all young and new, and despite of countless of new companies competing for the big prize, we can already call the race and declare SpaceX the winner. Not even the billions of Jeff Bezos will make a difference since SpaceX is so far ahead of every other company in one business area. I'll let you in on the secret of why SpaceX cannot be stopped. It's their marketing! Of course, the stupid marketer says humanity will survive because of marketing. But hear me out. Let's set the scene. It's the late 90s to early 2000s and the old space race was over. Everything had been explored. We had been to the moon and back. We had two space stations built. Memory foam had been invented. What else should be there to explore? Interest for space was declining and then came this company that wanted to privatize space travel. SpaceX started as the pipe dream of its founder with the grand vision to colonize Mars. For all large companies, success can be attributed to have a larger than life vision. Nike wants to build the best shoes for runners, Apple wants to encourage different creative lifestyles and Coke wants to rob people's drinking water and increase the number of kids with diabetes. Having a vision is a must in today's day and age and SpaceX vision is as big as it gets. It serves as the magnet for people's attention. By having this big vision to colonize Mars, SpaceX accidentally created a new category for space which is today known as the new space race. Of course, the vision is only the foundation, but it's not everything. If I said I wanted to fly to Alpha Centauri, nobody would come. The same is true for if I said I wanted to launch some new satellites into space, nobody would come either. Since great engineers are another cornerstone of SpaceX success and most of them already worked at NASA, SpaceX needed to offer something bigger, unachievable under NASA's roof. To attract engineers from NASA, SpaceX had to take their vision and combine it with something completely else and they chose to embrace their nerd and digital culture to create something bigger. The result is what attracts us mortal people to SpaceX as well. It's authentic, it's relatable and we're all a bit weird and not pristine and clean like NASA. Just look at the fact that their Falcon rockets are named after the Millennium Falcon from Star Wars or that they launched a Tesla into space just because they could. SpaceX being authentic and relatable makes us root for them because they represent a classical underdog story. Nobody believed in them when their first three rockets exploded and they went almost bankrupt and now they launch astronauts into space. To understand how that worked, we have to look at one very important business decision in their history. SpaceX understood that B2B is their core business, but exciting B2C branding makes everything easier. Just remember that decision makers at NASA and other space companies are humans as well. They enjoy the prestige that comes from working with cool brands just like any other person on this planet. Employees like to work for cool brands as well and suppliers will bend over backwards for you if you have a cool brand they can be associated with. In the past NASA had proven that you could build a consumer brand around a space program even though it was never their focus. SpaceX understood that building a brand could be a major asset but they had to be different from everything that was already out there. They decided to fully embrace their roots and underdog status and build a cool brand. The result is that the astronaut shuttle is a Tesla with wing doors and when they created their own spacesuits, they made sure they looked cool. This is also what sets SpaceX apart from Blue Origins, Rocket Lab, Astra, Firefly and all other new space companies. The other companies are copying SpaceX or are just vanilla. But before we look at SpaceX competitors, there's one thing. You may wonder, why hasn't this guy mentioned the most recognizable representative of the entire company? Because if you summon him, he will come. So let's summon him. Elon. 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 No video about SpaceX marketing efforts would be complete without Elon Musk. It is safe to say that Elon Musk is the brand ambassador and the public face of the company. Elon is a quirky, dedicated and intense CEO. What you see from him is what you can expect from SpaceX. Unlike Jeff Bezos, Elon Musk actually enjoys being in the spotlight which helps all of his companies. For SpaceX, Elon is the X Factor as he's much more involved in the public brand than with Tesla. He's on Reddit answering in-depth technical questions, he's giving interviews for YouTube niche celebrities and he's much more involved in the day-to-day -day business. SpaceX 
is the kid he loves more but tells everyone he loves all his kids equally. You can also see that search interests in SpaceX and Elon Musk are basically intertwined. But if both destinies are so intertwined, couldn't another space company just come in and copy and replicate that success? Couldn't they just hire a charismatic CEO, have him be on Twitter all the time and beat SpaceX? The thing with these other space companies is that they are engineering driven and marketing and sales take a backseat to everything that's technical. These companies love to talk about their engines and what is possible with their rockets instead of talking about the problems of their customers and how they solve them. What's even worse is that they don't understand the B2C brand aspect. That becomes clear as soon as we look at the top two competitors. On the one hand, we have Blue Origin, which is their major competitor for long-distance space travel. On the other hand, we have Rocket Lab USA, which is the major competitor for satellite deployment of small satellites, which currently is one of the cash cows of SpaceX. Blue Origin makes basic mistakes in branding, such as their logo being hardly recognizable. Look at Rocket Lab, which has one of the most boring logos I've ever seen. Of course, we are only looking at the surface, but the differences are striking. We can see these differences in understanding of marketing in all areas. Just look for instance at their merchandise. Both companies, Blue Origin and Rocket Lab, focus on mission pet shirts and merchandise with space niche appeal. On the other hand, we have Space X style, which can be described as mainstream fashion with nerd appeal. Just look at the Falcon 9 shirt as contrast to the Blue Origin shirts and you can see it's just that much better. Ask yourself this. As a brilliant rocket scientist, would you rather work for SpaceX, Blue Origin or Rocket Lab? A hint of what other engineers may think, here are some screenshots from LinkedIn about the average tenure of these new space companies. As you can see, SpaceX has twice the retention of all other new space companies. What that means for SpaceX is when your median tenure is twice that of your competitors, you stockpile the best talent and you get the chance to develop your employees even further. Don't get me wrong, all three companies are great companies and all will achieve great things, but only one has a better understanding of their audience and marketing. The thing is having a better understanding of your target audience and marketing in general can be fatal to your competitors in a winner takes all situation like the new space race. SpaceX has already built a massive brand equity which no other company will be able to catch up to. All new space companies are racing in the same race, but SpaceX makes the rules. As you can see, branding works in every aspect of your company and it should be the focus of every company, either in B2C or B2B. In a nutshell, it is safe to say that SpaceX has the best brand, the best employees, the best technology and the most revenue of all new space companies. That is why SpaceX cannot be stopped and has already won the new space race. The power of branding and excellent understanding of marketing is at full display with SpaceX, so study them. Are you interested in building your own eternal brand? Then subscribe to this channel, watch the next video right here, see you in the next video and until then, continue to be awesome. See ya!